My name is Phyllis Cohen. I'm a makeup artist, illustrator, and founder of Facelace. When I was little, I was always daydreaming. And um, my mother told me that she often forgot about me because I would be up in my room just sort of playing with things. And I think I'm still like that even now. I love to stay up late because when everyone is asleep, I can sort of go back into that little world. I suppose because I had an art school background, I kind of wanted to merge the idea of makeup with the idea of art. And even in New York, they said, you know, there's nobody here doing this kind of stuff. Go to Europe, you know, you've got to go to Europe. When I came to London, it was the summer of 1982. And it was when the new romantics were really the big thing, which were very interested in that kind of like a whole fantasy illustration happening on their face. I work with Pink Floyd and David Bowie, which was really exciting for me because, of course, he was my idol growing up. Well, because I had an illustration background, people would call if people wanted a tattoo painted or any kind of body painting. So I developed stencils, and people started to say to me, my God, your stencils are amazing. They're so beautiful. And that sort of made me think, oh, well, you know, maybe I could do designs that actually stick on the face. And that's how face lace came about. So face lace was my answer to being able to do very intricate makeup designs in no time at all. I think is the most wonderful thing being an artist is doing the research. I have my books. I will look at thousands of images. You know, I have everything all over the place. When you see stuff and you keep bombarding yourself with new and new images, I keep going until I feel like I can't actually absorb any more. And then I get to the point where it's got nowhere to go other than to back onto paper. And that's when I start designing. I really love the feel of doing that curve with a pencil and doing that stroke with a brush and sketching with a pencil crayon. In the pit of my stomach, I can feel if the curve is right. And that feel of movement in my hand is really important. So I'm a real perfectionist. You know, every single curve and every single line and every single point has been agonizingly tweaked until it's exactly right. That's actually what I really love, getting things exactly right.